Hi, brothers and sisters. Good morning to you. I hope you can see this. It says, Praise God, and it's an ark. Uh, Jesus is the ark of the covenant, the new covenant that's in his, his work, God's work. Uh, God is the temple, Jesus Christ, um, and we are in him. Praise him. Uh, by our faith, he sa the great grace of God saves us. He saves us. Um, I want to explain something that God has shown me that is quite amazing. The church buildings and many people on YouTube who I'm finding are actually false shepherds. They have a lot of great information and it seems like they're bringing a truth. But I notice that they're focusing on the world's script. What the world says the lake of fire is. And I have been given eyes to see what the lake of fire is, brothers and sisters. Man is appointed to live once and then the judgment. As a saint, we die with Christ, the lamb slain for the sins of the world. And we, are, we will rise with Christ. He will quicken our body by the Spirit. The lake of fire is the second death, brothers and sisters, that we will not experience. The second death does not harm us because we don't, we're don't. we written in the Lamb's Book of Life. We're not written in death. We haven't made a covenant with death. We've made a covenant with life. Masons, Jesuits, and Shriners make a script. They have a script and they follow it. And they, uh, their lake of fire is they bring judgment on the world. They bring war, they uh, invade countries, they, they murder, because their father is the devil, who is a murderer from the beginning. They loveth to make a lie, it says in the book of Revelation. Um, and so they are bringing about a certain kind of judgment on the world. But understand that everything that they do, even though they think that they have um, authority on the earth, they're only being used by God as weapons of his indignation and his judgments. So when, when one of the saints dies, we see life. When a Mason, Jesuit, Shriner, Fraternity, or Sorority member dies, they see death and they're cast in the lake of fire for unbelief. They didn't trust God's work, and they went about to establish their own work, their own goodness, their own uh, raising up to godliness. But their righteousness is as filthy rags according to the word of God. And those kings of the earth and those merchants and those sorcerers, because they lie and deceive, are the ones that bring death and destruction. They are the sons of perdition, which means destruction, for they go down into destruction they're the destroyers of earth, not just the earth that we stand on, but also the earth and vessels we live in, the bodies. And the old um, man, prior to getting the animal skin put over us, they tried to deceive and destroy those people too with false gospels that don't save anybody. Jesus said to the man on next to him today you will be with me in paradise he believed that jesus christ was the messiah he believed he was the son of god and the son of and that he was had a kingdom and those of us who are in the ark of the covenant which is jesus christ's covenant god's covenant will stand in the presence of god the temple of god is the father and the son we are the lamps that will be with him we are a part of his kingdom and he, the, the enemy seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. And they bring their own, their own uh, script. Jesus said, in your scriptures it says this, but I say this. And even though the law was good, it was all a foreshadow of who God is and his righteousness. And we, as saints, live by that spirit. Um convicted of sin, not condemned, but we don't act out the scriptures as a script or try to deceive others with the false gospels of that will not save your, your um, inner man. They do things, uh, rituals, 
to try to raise their higher consciousness or to try to do things and that have no value in them at all. They will be without garments, without wedding garments, for deceiving and lying to the people, for lying to themselves and deceiving themselves. And so one of the things I'm noticing that they do is they bring the events that we're seeing in the earth, calling it the lake of fire that's going to fall on the earth. Jesus said that, and, the, and John the Baptist said that he'll bring a fire. His fire is the Holy Spirit, the truth, the spirit of truth that will burn up all the lies of the enemy. A sword is, is his word. And his lake of fire is different than the enemy's lake of fire. You know, Saul was blinded because of the brightness of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it said, in um, whenever he was on the road to Patmos, he he was blinded by the bright light, Jesus Christ. And he says that he blinds or he, he will destroy them with the brightness of his coming. Anyone who does not believe and that and Saul was a Jew. He was practicing the law. He was practicing righteousness. And still it was not enough. In the presence of the Lord when he came. He was law, a law keeper. Saul was. And because he did not trust the work of God in Christ Jesus the Messiah. He was blinded. But praise God he had mercy on Saul. Because he knew after he saw him he would believe him. And then he gave him great work to do. To try to convince the Jews. Or wait, was it the Gentiles? I can't remember. But, you know, there's different people that God assigned different um, tasks to because he is the leader of his warriors, his workers. But they didn't work to be saved. They're saved by grace, by God's grace. Um, because the holiness of God is, un we can't even know it. Who could know the holiness of God? You can't describe the holiness of God by a law or law keeping. That is deception, great deception. And, you know, we can be holy in, um, to each other and we should not have any appearance of evil. But to understand the holiness of God, who can know it? Who can know it? Who could know him? Only those who are in him can look upon him and not get burned up. We will look at him face to face. We will see him and we will be like him, spotless. This corruptible will put on incorruptible, will not have, be able to be um, corrupted anymore. This mortal will put on immortality and death will be swallowed up in victory. It already is. We have something to look forward to. And we're in this ship right now, which is Christ. We're in him by faith, we have been saved by this grace, which imagine like a ship holding us when there's a storm and fire all around us. We're safe in him, like Madshak, Meshach, and Abednego. They were, they were in the fire, but someone was with them, and they didn't get burned up by the fire. The fire is the word of God. The fire is his spirit. His holy, his holy spirit is like a fire, Bringing up the lies of the enemy. And the lake of fire that we don't get burned up in is the truth. Those who are living in lies and deceit, they're getting burned up right now by the word of God, by the, the people who are speaking the word of God and exposing the false Christs and false prophets. Someone that I used to listen to is James Smith. And he's now found doing hand signs and signals of Masonic witchcraft, sorcery. Sad thing is he's got a lot of truth about the Hebrew letters and stuff like that and gematria. But unfortunately, the truth that he has is based on his own good works because that's what Masons believe. They believe that they need to do good works to enter into a God-like a god -like person. And our... Our righteousness, God says, is as filthy rags and that only God is good. But they think that inside of them, they are God. 
That is a lie because what happened was God created man out of the dust and he breathed, and the word of God, Jesus Christ, breathed life into the first man, Adam. And he became a living soul. And then he put him to sleep and took the rib and created Eve out of the man. The man being the glory of Lord. And he lost that glory whenever they ate of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. This is the tree, the same tree that Masons, Jesuits, Shriners, Fraternities and Sororities and Eastern Star Women eat out of. The knowledge of good and evil and they keep dying. They're dying twice. They're going to die twice in the lake of fire. First by this word spoken and then by the brightness of his coming. They'll be cast in the lake of fire. They do not receive the love of the truth. That Christ died for their sins. The blood is for the remission of the sins of the world. That they that he was buried and resurrected from the grave. He came in the flesh. They don't believe he came in the flesh. They believe he only came in the spirit. And that is a false gospel, guys. If you do not believe he came in the flesh, the son of man, then you're dead in your sins. If you don't, do not believe that the Messiah really came, when he comes... And you think that's the time he's coming to save you, that the Messiah is coming then. You will have the Messiah that's coming, the king that's coming to judge the world by the brightness of his coming. He's already judging right now by the word of God. But those of us who are in him, we will stand on that fire and on that crystal lake. That's both the um, the fire and the, the, um, the living the living waters is pouring down from heaven because right now we're living waters. When we go up to heaven, um, we get new bodies and we will have the fullness in us. We'll have everything in us. And we will we'll rise above the ashes. They don't rise above the ashes even though they say that they, it's okay what they do. They think that, th that they could sin and get away with it. They think that they can do the things that they're doing, get away with it. But unfortunately, the word of God is judging them right now. It calls them the kings of the earth, the merchants and the sorcerers. They use witchcraft on the people with their hand signals. And it breaks my heart every time I find out one of these people are serpents. And I had a feeling, and I know that was the Holy Spirit guiding me about James Smith, because he was talking about the events of the world and how, you know, um, Elam, and he was talking about the war that's coming and stuff like that. But these are scripts that these men follow and they have a plan of war. They're sons of perdition. They go down into destruction and then their false Christ, their false prophets go out in the world and they, and then they do things, um, to convince the people to be afraid of this or that. The only thing that we should be afraid of is a second death if you're not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Now, just because we can stomp on these snakes and scorpions, because that's what Masons, Jesuits, and Shriners, and Eastern Star women are, is snakes and scorpions, because they're trying to sting you with sin and, and um, tempt you with sin so that they can have their riches. Because the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. They have a love for money. Um, and the high seats, unfortunately. But we can stomp on them and bring down all of the mountains, the kings of earth, um, with our words, as the Holy Spirit guides us, as Christ living in us guides us. And I knew something was wrong, and I didn't quite know it, and I had never watched him give a sermon in person. I only saw a couple couple of videos where he was showing the Hebrew and I remember thinking something's off. I just knew, I just knew something wasn't right. He's trusting in his own works is what it is. And we can't trust in our own works. You know, after you're, you're saved, um, you're, you can be like, and he will use the, um, true Hebrew people after you're saved, he could choose you to do some work to bring in more people with the gospel. It's with the gospel and using the word of God to point to Christ's righteousness. He'll use the word of God to show them that they cannot fulfill the law of God, that they need Jesus Christ, that they are unholy in the presence of a holy God unless they're in God himself, which is the son. He is the, the, the visible image of the invisible God, Jesus is. And his righteousness was God's righteousness. 
So he sanctifies us. We don't sanctify or preserve ourselves. We're preserved in Christ Jesus, brothers and sisters. So praise him.